Hello, welcome to Technability. What we have here today is actually let me just show you guys what we have here today. 4.3. On what else? The HTC One. So this would be um, this would be CM 10.2. So yeah, we're we're at CM 10.2 now. Uh, if we go to status, you can see status. CPU, etc. Build number, you can see right there on the bottom. CM, etc. 4.3. So we're at CM 10.2, guys. We've come a long way with CyanogenMod. Mod. Obviously, one of the better ROMs out in the market, if not the best. And um, basically, for the most part, it's a refined CM 10.1. So let's get started here and show you guys what's changed. Well, first of all, right off the bat, because I always like emphasizing on this, when there's a new ROM or a new build or new update of a certain platform, uh, the speed, the speed, they've added open, uh, open EL or open GL uh, GPU improvements, so just overall in terms of zipping right through, this thing is fast, easily the fastest iteration of Android thus far, and we've come to expect that with Android at this point, the fact that literally every build gets better and better, and you can see the keyboard here, Okay, super fast, super responsive keyboard. Let's exit out, exit out, immediate to exit out. Double tap on the home button. Actually, if we push down on the home button, we get the uh, multitasking pane. And then if I just push this button right here, close out of everything at once. Notification, you got the quick notif uh, the quick settings, you got the regular notification bar. So similar, very similar to 4.2, just refined. It feels better. Uh, it feels a lot more just smoother, I guess, is the word. I know I use that word a lot, but it does definitely feel a lot smoother. Let's go ahead and just get this uh, loaded up here. Check out how fast this thing can load a website. You know what, let's not sign in. Let's just go to... Technability.com. Okay. All right, so we're loading Technability.com here. You can see it; it's fairly fast to load the website. Uh, it's you know based on your network, obviously. So based on your network, it's gonna either load really fast or really slow. Pinch zoom, super responsive. Pan around the screen as I'm pinching. So nice little feature there. Obviously, it's been around for a while with Android. And if we want to exit out, we could just obviously push the home button here. We exit out, go back to the browser, check the tabs, swipe away, okay, and we're gone. So, super responsive. Let's just go ahead and check the settings here because CM10 is chock filled with features. So let's go ahead and check out some of those features. You have launcher uh, options, obviously home screen dock. You got various dock options, customizations, various home screen customizations, including the transition effect. So if I want to go ahead and just do cylinder out, for example, all uh, right, let's just I went ahead and redraw, redrew that. But you could see uh, changes the uh, effect. It's kind of got like a cylinder effect there going on. So that's pretty cool. Again, it doesn't change the speed of the uh, or the fluidity of the overall use, which is great. Let's check out the live wallpapers here. All right, so live wallpapers look like they've stayed the same. Let's go ahead and just test out phase beam. Again, still runs super smooth. No issues on that end. Let's go back to settings here and let's check out the lock screen option. Speaking of the lock screen, let's check out the lock screen here, why don't we? All right, so the lock screen, you can see the weather and the time uh, widget up there is a little bit different. So that's been changed ever so slightly. Uh, you still got the, wedget, uh, the widgets on the left hand side and the camera on the right hand side. Obviously, you can unlock the phone as such. Oh, you know what, let's check that out. There was actually some. Uh, shortcuts there. And you can see the shortcuts here. That's pretty cool. Uh, so you got the shortcuts. Obviously if I click on let's say that it takes me to the text messages and whatnot or whatever shortcut is it, it is that you've set. System options, you got quick settings, panel, uh, which is you know obviously for the secondary notification. Uh, you got the notification drawer settings. You can enable a power widget which is basically a toggle. Okay, Goes up in your notification center. Clock widget, actually, what is clock widget? Oops, let's go back to system. Oh, that's the clock widget for the uh, lock screen. So that's cool. You can customize that. You got themes, obviously, which you can download at the Play Store. Plenty of them for free. 
uh, display options, uh, those have stayed the same. Advanced, you know, you got the advanced options that mess with the haptic sensor and touchscreen features. Again, just feels so smooth, so fluid, so nice, and, and just very natural. I mean, again, 4.3, they've added uh, even more GPU acceleration with Project Butter, so it definitely feels a lot more natural than 4.2, which, you know, we didn't really know whether or not it, or whether it could get any better, but apparently it has. So let's go ahead and take a picture here. Okay, you can see how that works. If I swipe over this way, there's my picture. Swipe up, I could delete it. And I can you know, do the same with this and swipe down, delete it, go back. Um, let's see, let's click on the widget here. Could resize the widget as I so please. Okay. So that feature is there. Obviously you can't pinch, it's stock Android. Let's see, we could check out Google Now. Let's check out Google Now. Now you know what, let me just go ahead and put the search widget here and we'll check out Google now. I don't see a search widget. Hey, you know what, I gotta update, um, I gotta update that from the Play Store, so we'll let that be for now. Check out the gallery, nothing changed in the gallery, that stayed the same. Um, you know, everything feels good, everything looks good. It's definitely a lot more refined in terms of overall use. Uh, it's Android Jelly Bean 4.3, incremental update to 4.2, but with 5.0, that's what we're all waiting for, right? 5.0, which is supposed to be a complete major overhaul, but for the most part, this is really nice, and it's, you know, a definitely a good incremental update. From 4.1 to 4.2, we saw improvements in speed, and from 4.2 to 4.3, uh, we're seeing improvements in speed, so... A lot of good things going on here guys. There are some bugs with this ROM, keep that in mind if you are going to install it. I'll post the link below and I'll post the how to. It's actually very simple. It's the same way to install any other build of CM10. Um, you can check that out on my channel. I have how to's posted and if you have any questions go ahead and ask me. Don't forget to subscribe and at the same time guys check out www.technability.com. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.